Hello everyone, I'm Emily Powell, an intuitive healing practitioner, and today we're going to talk about forgiveness. So I um, have seen forgiveness be powerful. I've seen forgiveness not forgiving cause physical illness, emotional mental illness, endless anguish in so many ways, and then as soon as someone forgave, I can, I've seen things clear up in huge ways, huge, huge things. So, but forgiveness can sound um, undesirable or unapproachable. And I wanted to share this perspective of it because it's been, it feels so great to me, it resonates. Um, so I'm not gonna go over the different ways forgiveness can feel kind of unapproachable or undesirable. I wanna share this one. So whenever we have interactions with people, um, it can create a connection between two people, it can create an energy that is being shared between the two of them and in the space between the two of them. So if a stranger passing me on the street steals my purse um, or comes up and physically assaults me in some way, um, an, an interaction, an experience has just been shared between the two of us that creates, the, creates an energetic connection. And, and also where energy goes um, or where our focus goes our, and intention goes, our ener the energy will grow. So forgiveness, I like to view it as a rope tying two people together. Um, I didn't ask for that stranger to, you know, come up and do, treat me disrespectfully in some way, stealing a purse or a physical attack or a verbal anything. I didn't ask for that, but it just got created through their agency. Um, so now there's a rope, kind of like a noose tying tight around me, tight around them, and we are connected through this shared experience that was created via their choices and their activities. So forgiveness isn't saying it never happened or it happened and I just don't care. That's fine, it's okay to treat me that way. Forgiveness, I view as, so it's, this is now a part of my energy field and a part of their energy field that they treated someone that way and my energy field has a little record that I was treated that way. I experienced what it felt like to be treated that way that day. So now uh, we have this shared situation, this shared energy. So I view forgiveness as me freeing myself, becoming liberated. I'm taking the noose off and dropping it. It doesn't save, it doesn't rescue them from that energy. It doesn't do anything to them. It does a lot to me. I just freed myself of that entirely. It's gone. Any experience that I've had, my, with my system will gain knowledge, awareness, and wisdom from it. So any wisdom that came through the experience will be mine to have forever, and the rope is gone. And I am freed of that energy. I'm freed of being connected to them. I'm no longer connected to them. I'm no longer experiencing this, what that connection felt like, felt like. I'm no longer experiencing the energy of that moment and of that event. I have healed myself of it. I've cleared it. They still have it and they'll have that noose and that rope hanging from them until they do something about it. Um, so forgiveness in my view, and I love this. I, I think it was Holly Bueller shared this perspective and I love it. It's all about liberating ourselves and freeing ourselves, which feels fantastic. So forgiveness is just us choosing, I don't like having these ropes around me, I'm gonna release them. I'm gonna take them off of myself and um, drop them so that I don't have to have them on me anymore. The other person can, will, drop, will get to become liberated as whenever they use their choice and their agency. Um, to go through the process for them of liberating. So forgiveness is freeing us so that our energy gets to be clear of that. And some other things that can be, um, I'll list a couple other things that can be helpful in that process of leading up to that moment of like, yeah, I'm ready to be done with this. I don't need or want to have this on me anymore at all. Um, some things that can help with that is, um, some different perspectives of is an expression session. You can check out, I have a YouTube video about that, of vocalizing anything in us that needs to get 
um, expressed or acknowledged. You can vocalize it and you can honor it and process it that way. Um, giving it, not having it even recorded in our system. If it's um, an event or an activity that we actually don't want, we don't want it to be known in our system or our body or be carried in us, you can imagine it's recorded in a book in heaven. So it's recorded there and it doesn't even need to be recorded in my body. I can like erase the notes on what it was like and how it happened, etc. Um, another way is we can give it to God, our source, um, of place it on the altar and let our sources, um, Jesus and God is my source, so I like to place it on the altar and then have Jesus or God's presence incinerate anything that's not good because it will just disappear in the presence of such high frequency. Um, or I can give the person and the situation to God or source and say, I choose to no longer be the supervisor of this rope. I choose to no longer be the supervisor of this person, of that event that happened. I'm gonna give them to you and you're in charge of supervising whatever justice, mercy, whatever needs to happen there. Um, I surrender it all to you for you to be in charge. I trust you'll do a great job. And I release myself entirely from ever needing to think about them again, never needing to try to solve solve it, um, etc., etc. I trust that everything will be taken care of by you. Um, and you can do that with a visual. Even sometimes I see like a little miniature doll kind of representation of the person and I put it on an altar or I put it into God's hands as my visual official of this moment. As soon as this leaves my hand, boom, I'm done. I've given all of it to them, all of that, all of it to God, and it's completely out of my energy field. I'm done. I'm ready to be liberated. And that's not a part of my story anymore. And that's not a part of my thoughts. It's not a part of my um, story of who I am or where I'm going or what's going to be with me in the future. <sighs> so it's so powerful. Our choice is insanely powerful. Choice, whenever we make a choice, it moves energy. It moves things. It changes things. So, and also if you notice later, you can always do it repeatedly. If you notice later, like, oh, there's a little more, or I brought a little bit of it back and I want to give, now I'm ready, I want to give that piece away as well. Um, so you can do it as often, all the, like whenever, whenever it's needed. <sighs>